So, in order to walk better, we will make auxiliary elements, so-called auxiliary drawing, in two projections, at the side and from above. It will be completely enough for making conceptual basic shape, which then becoming a more interesting digital product, I hope. For this, press N, and in the pair tab, press Add Image, and choose Needed Image, set in any comfortable projection for you. I chose left. By that picture will be visible only in this plane. And do the same with projection top. Sometimes, picture should be edited, to rotate or scale, for the most comfortable work with. Rotated for 90 degrees. And now all the pictures are in its place. And now we can correct elongate cube under the shape on the future retro car. For this, move on to the edit mode, move the vertices in way we need. I'm starting with last points. If in the details, I set vertices on front edge and back car's part. In order to make sure, of the relevance of projection's location. Then set the vertices where are located characteristic spots of kings and bends of the shapes, as right here. Oh, forget, before we set the vertices, move on to view from above and create loop, Control plus R. By default, it cuts cubes straight in the middle. Thus, we create orientary by which we can see how exactly our drawing located. And in the mode display wireframe, we see that projection top a bit dislocated aside. So we move the drawing on axis X. Go on already familiar tab and press corresponding offset button and now for sure our projection set in the right place and return to vertices addition by characteristic bends. Delete this piece of cube, in order to restore it again, but in mode symmetry. For that, click on the tab modificator and search meter. And now, when working on one side of the cube, all the changes are fixed on another symmetrical part, which is very comfortable. Split screen in half in order to work at two projections at the same time and engage fully with the cube and ignore the little things. And now transform the cube in corpse of futuristic retro car by cutting it on loops. Set new vertices on characteristic spots of our drawing. Delete unnecessary vertices below of our car. They have no sense. And now I will do semi-transparent model. You may work in mode wireframe. There is no difference, just as you want. For this, in Tab's material, activate transparency and reduce alpha. But important to know that in viewport dates, changes display only in GLS L shading mode. Why they did it, I don't know. Next, in viewport, set displaying with the texture method. 
generally entire combination of operations only in order to display semi-transparent. I have played a bit with alpha to keep was not too dark and then continue build corpse point by point. The essence of that process is too primitive, we just need to replicate contours of the car according to image. But everything you must do with quadrilateral, everything that have more than four corners is unacceptable, wherein I use only two operations, not counting defaults, move, scale, rotate. This is creating of loops, Ctrl plus R and extrude E, that's everything we need. Extrude looks like this. Emphasize two points. Press E, which creates two points connected each other with one polygon. There is an operation of creating faces, I mean polygons. Emphasize four vertices and click F. There is new polygon. It highlighted in yellow. Todo está muy fácil. That is, we have got three general operations. First, loops creation. Second, extrude. And third, faces creation. As we go, the list will increase. And here we use modifier subvision surface. It's sanctum sanctorum. If you want to get smooth object with many polygons, you can do it without this modifier. What is it doing? It increases amount of polygons. Make mesh smoother. Ring the object externally changed but principle of operation not changed. That is, we have the same general controllers. There are vertices which we can adjust as before. Create a hard edge. Here it is a red loop. And this loop with a heavy weight or hard edge. What does it mean? I guess it's easier to show when exposed. A mesh approach as close as possible to triggers. And if we create hard edge everywhere, this object will look maximum sharply without smooth edges. If we would not work in general without subdivision surface modifier. Another creation way of hard edges it is creation of additional edges. The closer we are to general, then harder edge. Technically, that way we increase concentration polygons in the mesh. Where more polygons, they are more sharply. But in goals optimization of model, I try to don't heap up model by a lot of loops. Because then it's difficult to manage this huge spider web. There is principle, the less the easier. The less vertices, then easier to edit object. Move on to our car, and according to logic and knowledges of how car looks, we adjust vertices so that manage something like corpse. It is better to use the reference. There it is. I put it in the top right corner. Seemingly it doesn't cover any important spots, and now I carefully work exclusively in viewport. Also, we can follow our fantasy and unnecessary to follow drawing dates and reference. We can deviate from the norm a bit, just do as we want. In general, I took from the car only shapes and main moments. In terms of texture, I went another way. I guess easier way, but... All of that later, but now try to get in drawing.
intuitively set or create as many loops as we want. We don't need here some consimientos de reptiloidos verdad. <laughs> Knowledge is of reptiloid is truth, I mean. But remember that anyway, it's better to reduce than increase for manage the model with more comfort in the future. In subdivision surface, modifier go over on the second level of iteration. Technically, it means that every polygon divides on four more polygons. That is, every subsequent level of divisions increase amount polygons in four times. It currently said we will rarely practice double level of iteration. It's completely enough for beautiful display viewport. In this place we've got double back piece, because of polygons which formed by operation extrude. Get rid of them. And below some similar things, delete them as well. Stick to strict minimalism and move vertices to the symmetry center to avoid unplanned holes. A small correction. Before moving vertices to the center, activate check mark clipping in modifier meter. In this case, when vertices get to the center of symmetry, it unites. Here I press the button Shade Smooth to polygon switch from faceted display to smoothed. On this stage of work, it almost don't affect on anything, just for aesthetic pleasure or something. Here is the corpse we got. Right now it looks like sausage. <laughs> In the next part we will edit it and it become more attractive. 